the stove yard. Today we're going to make a dessert cheese course, which is really handy. You can um, do whenever the, uh, the egg is still lit after you've done your cooking. So this is just some um, pears that we're just going to chop up, grill them off. Then we're going to give them a nice glaze with some honey, some cinnamon and vanilla. And then we'll put a couple of toasted walnuts over it and some blue cheese. So let's get started. Start off with warming up our skillet. Stick it in the egg. That fits perfectly. Then we're going to toast off our walnuts uh, very quickly. Um, and then we'll take the skillet out again and we're going to chop off our pears. So I've got three pears here. Nice little conference pears. Either chop them in half or put them in quarters. We're going to quarter them today. Cut the lemon. Take the pit out. I quickly grill that off, give it some extra caramelization and extra flavor. Stick our walnuts in the pan. Maybe a few more. Slice of the vanilla pot. Yeah, the kearney blue cheese, which is a nice, very a creamy blue cheese. Um, if you don't like blue cheese, you can use something like mascarpone or something, but it becomes a bit more like a dessert, and I want it to be more like a cheese course or in between cheese and dessert. That's them toasted. Side. Quickly grill of our pear. Take the pear off once it's a little bit grilled. Has a little bit of color. Stick the skillet back on. A couple of spoonfuls of honey. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, my spoon doesn't fit into this, so we do it the back of the spoon. Add the vanilla. We're gonna stick the pear back in the skillet. Make sure we coat, coat all the pears with our honey and cinnamon and vanilla infusion. Should have gotten a bigger skillet, I see, but... Time to plate up. are beautiful. We're gonna finish it off. Some walnuts. Crumble over some blue cheese. Bit of our lemon. Then we'll pour over some more honey. And that's how you cook pears and blue cheese on the Big Green Egg. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.